Hello, this is Elizabeth, and here is Engineering Economics video number three. Today we'll be learning about interest tables and, let me get my pen here, all right, today we'll be learning about interest tables and solving for the future value. We'll be using three methods. But first of all, a review question. What do these letters stand for in engineering economics? We also can call these the variables, a uh, functional notation, P, F, N, and I. Take a minute to remember what those variables stand for in engineering econ. Pause the video if you need a minute more to think because I'm showing you the answers right now. P stands for present worth or present value. F stands for future worth or future value. N is the number of interest compounding periods. And I is the interest rate. Review question number two. Here's a problem for you to solve. Given P of $1,000, interest rate I of 7% per year, and N of eight years, find the value of F. Find the future value or future worth of that sum. In eight years time, invested at 7%, how much will it be worth? You might use a formula that we've learned in the previous video to find the future worth of some set of cash flows here, a single sum. So you're working with find F given P, I, and N. Take a minute to solve. Go ahead and pause the video if you need just a minute more to finish that calculation. Here's the answer. The answer is $1,718.19. Here's the formula that you should have used. F, future value, equals P, present value, times one plus I, the interest rate, raised to the N power number of years. 1,000 times 1.07 raised to the eighth exponent equals 17, 18, and 19 cents. So in words, what that means is the future value of $1,000 today is $1,718 in eight years, given an 8% growth rate, or also known as interest rate. Or you might also see compounding rate. All means the same thing, right? So the future value is one, the future value, oh, I'm sorry, the present value is $1,000 today. The future value is $1,718 in eight years. Whoop, I see a mistake. It is a 7% growth rate, right, for eight years. Okay, moving on. So here again is the answer that we just went over. I keep it on the screen here that, to show you that that is method one, to use this formula and use your calculator to come up with the answer. So method two is new information today, and that is to use established and published interest tables to simplify the calculation. What I've done here is found the table for 7% interest rate, and I have a picture of it here. So the number of interest periods is given as N. So you just read down here. In our problem, we were at eight years. So I go over down to line eight. And I have to decide what column to work in. Here we are given, uh, we are finding F, finding future value, given some uh, present value, find F given P. So compounding that present value to some future value, is uh, this first column, find F given P, I, and N. So I go down on that 7% interest table, go down this column to the line eight, eight compounding periods, and there's my factor, 1.7182. So down below here, we can see the future value is present value of 1,000 times this factor from the table. 
And then if we multiply out, we see that that equals $1,718.20, virtually the same one penny off uh, that we got up here by using the, the equation. So this is the important part right here. The general form then to using the interest tables is like this, find F given P times some factor from the interest tables. That's important, write that in your notes. Method three is using Excel to do the calculation for you. So use the, one of the financial functions for this is equal sign FV parentheses 7% comma eight for a number of years comma zero comma minus 1000 and comma zero as a placeholder and then parentheses. Enter that into a cell and you should come out, the answer uh, should be returned the $1,718.20. So that's how we do it in Excel. In any case, the cash flow diagram looks the same in all three cases. Our present value is $1,000 at time zero. We have an interest rate of 7% going over all of eight years, compounded once per year. And we see the future value that we were finding is 17, 18, and 20 cents. So how to say that in words is $1,000 today is equivalent to $1,718 in eight years, assuming a 7% interest rate. And that's how we find future value given a present value. Thanks.